In this tutorial video, I will be using Ultimaker Cura 5.0. I will walk you through the basic steps of preparing your model for 3D printing. Before you can open a file, Cura needs to know what printer we are going to slice for. That's why we need to add a printer first. You can do this by opening the printer menu and adding a printer. In this case, I already have an Ultimaker printer added and so I can proceed. Start by opening a 3D model by clicking on the folder icon on the left. This menu will offer you two options of where you can open a file from. Your local directory or, if you're logged in, the Ultimaker Digital Library. The library is part of Ultimaker Digital Factory and it allows you to store files in your account, share them with others and send print files to printers directly without having to slice them in Cura. You can find out more about the Digital Factory by using the link in the video description. Cura supports a wide variety of files, including STL, 3MF and OBG, as a few of the most popular ones. We will open an STL file in this tutorial. Optionally, you can also drag and drop a file to open it in Cura. When updating your configuration settings, there are two things to consider. Number one, make sure that you selected the material that has the properties that you need for your print job. Normally for rapid prototyping, we use tough PLA. If you cannot find the material profile that you need in the list, you can browse through the free material profiles in the Ultimaker Marketplace. The Marketplace allows you to download material profiles optimized for Ultimaker printers. The settings in the profiles are tested by the original third-party material partners. Number two, make sure that the material and print core configuration that you have in Cura matches what you have on your printer. If the configuration does not match, the printer's physical display and the digital factory will notify you of this mismatch. When you load your model, check the orientation. The printer deposits material from the bottom up so make sure that the model is oriented in a way that it will print without overhang if you do not plan on using supports. You can change the orientation by clicking on the rotate icon on the left and use the XYZ axis handles that appear around the model to rotate it. To scale, you can click on the scale icon on the left and like rotate, use the XYZ axis handles to hold and drag the model to adjust the scale. Optionally, you can also set a specific value on the menu on the left. When you are happy with the size and orientation of your model, you can choose a profile by opening the settings menu on the right. Ultimaker printers come with preset intent profiles, which are designed for your specific printing needs. Use visual if your priority is the surface quality, engineering for dimensional accuracy, and draft for shorter print times. Cura has hundreds of settings that can be modified in the advanced menu. Click on the custom button. You can learn more about them by hovering over the description. I recommend downloading the Cura settings guide from the Ultimaker Marketplace so that you can have more information about what each setting does. However, in this tutorial we will focus on the recommended settings and we will use the intent profiles. The profiles are created specifically for your intention and since the settings are already in place for you, this is a good starting point. Let's slice our print so that we can have a better idea of how the settings affect our model. You can do this by clicking on the slice button. Once sliced, you can use the preview mode so that you can see a simulation of how your model will look when printed. Infill, seen here in orange, is the internal structure of your print. Adjusting the infill percentage will increase or decrease the density of the infill structure accordingly. Increasing the density will make your model more solid, but it will end up using more material and it will take longer to print. If your model has overhangs, meaning that it will have a part that will be printed on air, then you will need to enable support, seen here in light blue, to make sure that the part will have material that will support it during printing. That way, it will prevent the model from sagging or failing completely. 
However, it's also often possible to change the orientation of your model so that a support structure is unnecessary. Enabling the adhesion option ensures that a brim will be printed on the build plate surrounding your model. This increases the surface area of the part of the model that comes in contact with the build plate, helping your model stick better to the build plate during printing. When you're ready, click the slice button again to send the model to the printer for printing. You can start your print job by sending the slice file to the printer using the print via cloud button. Or you can optionally save the print file to a removable USB drive or save it locally. When using the digital factory, press the monitor print button to check the progress and status of your print. It will also give you more information about the estimated completion time. That's it. You have now prepared your print file using Ultimaker Cura. If you would like to learn more about how to use Ultimaker Cura, including its many advanced features, consider taking one of the available courses on the Ultimaker Academy.